Tony, I'm from Delaware, uh, 26 years old. I uh, moved to Philly about two years ago in the recovery house sober, and now two years later, um, stuck in Kensington. Uh, I made a choice of my own to go and try and get high again after I know that I can't get high and enjoy life like or go and drink like normal people and I wound up doing heroin again and now I'm homeless and lost everything that I worked to get. Reckless. Wake up not knowing when you're gonna get the next one or what's gonna happen or if you gotta worry about the person behind you trying to come up and hurt you in some way if you can trust the people you're with just there's there's not a lot of trust out here and a lot of love out here like you keep the ones that you can trust close and the ones that you do love close A celebration. I played sports and did really good in high school and with sports and then my first time with drugs I was usually like after we won like a football game or a lacrosse game and then one turned in the every other day and then every other day turned in every day after school and every day after school turned in every morning and every morning I couldn't wake up without doing heroin started off with like a drink and then I went to Xanax and then a Percocet and then next thing I know I'm shooting heroin in my arm. I was like a regular kid, like I grew up. I didn't have everything but I had what I wanted. I didn't want for nothing. My dad and my parents got divorced but they loved me like every other parent loves their kids. They gave me everything they wanted. But I always just had to push some buttons and try and manipulate my way into doing what I wanted to make my own self appreciated, I guess. Skeleton of what I once was. 130 pounds. Soaking wet right now. Out in Kennington, and I could be. I was 185 pounds. In four months, I lost 40 pounds, and got nothing to show for what I worked for, for what I came back from. Cause I did this all before and came back from. I went to jail and caught out with nothing, and now I'm back with nothing in a park, getting rained on in the middle of April. It's crazy. Never do heroin, and for my sister to not have to deal with the struggle, I didn't know when that her brother's out here, not knowing what's gonna happen. And then for my mom, my parents, I know that I love them, and it doesn't have anything to do with them. It's my own choice. If you were to die today, would you like that message to be left? Like, would you want people to remember you as you are today, or make something of yourself? Like, be remembered as something better than what I am right now. Because right now I'm a skeleton of what I should be. Like, I look in a mirror and don't see anything close to what I should be. It's great. You might start off, um, but I promise you, at the end, it's just yourself. Like, you wind up losing everything and everybody. Like, I got family that don't even want to answer the phone for me right now. 
because of what I put them through. It sucks. This sucks. <laughs>